Croissant Pub to the Days of Play PSN sale. This sale ends on the 6th of June, so that'll be your last day to pick up these deals. And don't forget, if you like saving money and you don't want to miss a sale, subscribe and hit the bell. Okay, let's look at the games. First up is A Plague Tale Innocence. It was released in 2019, so it's two years old, and is on a 75% discount for the price of £11.24, which isn't bad. This is a survival horror game, where you follow the grim tale of a young Amisha and her little brother Hugo in an emotional story as they flee from Inquisition soldiers while surrounded by swarms of unstoppable rats, struggling to survive against overwhelming odds. This game got really good reviews when it came out, and it seems like a pretty cool and unique game that really came out of nowhere. It's definitely worth looking at if you're a fan of story-driven games, and especially if you like sneaking around and survival horror themes. Next we have Astrobot Rescue Mission. It was released in 2018, so it's 3 years old, and is on a 70% discount for the price of £10.49, which is really decent for a VR game. This game has no move controller support, and it's a platformer where you get to help Astro rescue his spaceship's lost crew bots. Exploring a vibrant and immersive VR world full of enemies, secrets, platforms and adventure along the way. If you've played the Astrobot level on VR worlds, you'll get what this game is about because it's based on that. And that goes the same for the PS5 free Astrobots game. If you've played that, again, it's very similar. Which is a great thing because they're very fun and good games. Basically, if you're a fan of platformers and you like VR, this is the best game available for you. So you should definitely pick it up. Unless you don't have VR, of course. In which case, take a look around. There's plenty more stuff on sale. Blaz Blue Cross Tag Battle is our next game. It was released in 2018, so it's three years old, and is on a 75% discount for the low price of £3.99, which is awesome. This is a fighting game, and this version combines characters from Blaz Blue with Persona 4 Arena, Under Night in Birth, and Ruby. It features a tag battle system, over 20 playable characters, extensive tutorials, and English voiceovers. And on a side note, Blaz Blue Central Fiction is also on sale for £9.59, 80% discount. So if you have this already, or you want the other game, take a look at that instead. But if not, this is a great deal for a really great fighting franchise. It's one of the best around, and you just can't beat quality, you really can't. If you're looking for a decent fighter, this is a good option. It's back to the arcade next. Caladrius Blaze is released in 2016, so it's 5 years old, and is on an 85% discount for the price of £2.39, which is really good. This edition includes all content from both Caladrius and Caladrius AC, plus extra content included as well, which is great value. This is a vertical scrolling shooter, and it features multiple storylines with more than 15 unique characters, while playing as 8 unique pilots and their ships. It also includes a tutorial and synchro mode, making it enjoyable for even first-time players. And as a bonus, it includes two-player offline co-op, which is pretty unusual for these sorts of games. And it's always a bonus to have co-op included. So if you're an old-school fan of arcade scrolling shooters, you'll love this probably, especially at this price. And if you've never played one before, it's pretty cheap, so you might want to take a chance on it. It's just a great deal, so why not consider it? This next game should probably be for PS Plus members only, City Skylines Mayors Edition. It was released in 2017, so it's 4 years old, and is on at least a 70% discount for the price of £25.49 or £16.99 with PS Plus. Now the first price is ridiculously high, and the second one is higher than I usually recommend, but the normal price of this game is £84.99, and it includes nearly all of the DLC ever made for it which is 6 full expansions, 3 building packs and 5 radio stations. It's an astronomical amount of DLC. If you've been planning to get this game for a while, this is the best way to buy it, is with this version, and this is a really good deal. In this game you get to build and manage the city of your dreams, planning road networks, power grids, plumbing, districts, parks, everything, while also balancing the city's requirements, such as education, utilities, healthcare, economy and more. This is hands down the best city management sim. SimCity is no longer the king, and it's been that way for a while. If you loved SimCity in the old days, or you liked city builders in general, this is the game for you. This is the version of the game for you. Definitely take a look at it. At $16.99, it's a really good price, and I've never seen it this low before. We have a racer next, Dakar 18. It was released in 2018, obviously, and is 3 years old. It's on a 75% discount for the price of £4.99, which is a pretty cheap price for a racer. 
In this game, you get to play a simulation of the world-famous annual rally raid in South America. It features motorcycles, cars, trucks, quads, and more, with dynamic weather, vehicle physics, and pilot control to explore, rescue, and repair your vehicles. And it also includes two-player local multiplayer and eight-player online multiplayer, which is pretty nice. So if you're looking for a cheap racing game and you're into Rally, or specifically Dakar, then you'll have a good time with this game. But if not, you might want to look for a more generic racing game instead. Next we have Dead Island Definitive Edition. It was released in 2016, so it's 5 years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £3.99, which is dirt cheap for two AAA games, even if they are a bit old now. This collection includes Dead Island 1 and 2, remastered with all of the DLC included, plus the Retro Revenge spin-off as well, so you get a lot of game for your money. In this series, you wake up on an island resort in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, and now you must team up with other survivors in order to gather resources and work together to survive and escape the island. It has a cool system where you get to combine and improvise weaponry, which makes it pretty fun, and the whole game's playable in co-op, which is great. And in the sequel, which carries on from the first, it's based around four-player multiplayer, so you can play with even more people as well, which is great. So if you're a fan of zombie games, a la Left 4 Dead, then you'll have a lot of fun with these games, especially if you've got a friend or two to play with. Up next is a really cool experience for fans, Doctor Who The Edge of Time. It was released in 2019, so it's only a year old, and it's on at least a 55% discount for the price of £8.99, or £6.99 with PS Plus, which is really good if you're a PS Plus member. This game has optional move controller support, and it's a VR puzzle game, where you get to team up with the Doctor to solve puzzles and save the universe from a mysterious new enemy. You even get to pilot the TARDIS and experience the world of Doctor Who like never before, meeting both iconic and new monsters in the adventure. Pretty much the only negative thing with this game is that you interact with the 13th Doctor, which is pretty weird because I didn't even know there was a 13th Doctor. Like, I thought it just stopped at 12, right? In any case, if you can overlook the rubbish choice of Doctor, then you'll probably love this game. I'm actually looking forward to playing it myself, and I might pick it up now, but it's definitely on my list to pick up at some point. VR is designed for experiences like this. I mean, who wouldn't want to go on an adventure with the Doctor? It's a dream come true, minus the 13th Doctor thing, obviously. Check it out, Doctor Who fans, and if you're not a fan of Doctor Who, but you like sci-fi, there's probably something for you in this game as well, especially if you like VR experiences. Consider it at least, it's a decent price. An old school legend now, Doom. It was released in 2016, so it's 5 years old, and it's on a 70% discount for the price of £4.79, which is dirt cheap. This edition includes all three DLC expansions, and all the feature updates as well, so it's a complete experience for your money. This is a first-person shooter where you get to fight your way through hell, slaying demon hordes in this epic reboot of a legendary game series. It features fun destructive weapons, a melee system with gore-filled attacks, and it also throws in 12-player online multiplayer. This game received universal praise and love on release, and is still well thought of now. It's not very often reboots live up to their original legendary game series, but this is a rare exception. It's worth your time. It's worth your money. If you like first-person shooters and you want a fun one, definitely take a look at this. The next game is for PS Plus members only. DreamWorks Dragon's Dawn of the New Riders is released in 2019, so it's two years old, and it's on at least a 60% discount for a price of £13.99 or £10.49 with PS Plus. This game is a top-down RPG where you join Scribbler and Patch on an epic adventure to save dragons and defeat Evil Air, who is controlling the dragons. You get to visit new and familiar locations, full of familiar characters from the show, fighting and solving puzzles along the way for a lot of fun. If you're looking for a game for kids, or if you're a big fan of the series, then you might want to take a look at this game. It looks like some decent family fun. Next up we have more zombies, Dying Light. It was released in 2017, so it's 4 years old, and is on a 70% discount for the price of £10.49, which isn't bad. This is a first person open world survival game, we get a Roma city devastated by a mysterious epidemic, running and climbing through the city, scavenging supplies, crafting weapons, and fighting hordes of flesh-hungry zombies. But beware the night as the zombie's strength grows, and nocturnal threats emerge as well. This game was pretty big when it came out, and a lot of people seem to like it. I'm a bit bored of zombies myself, but if you're looking for a fun zombie game, with a lot of action, and open world gameplay, then you'll get a lot of fun out of this game, so you should take a look at it. 
Next up is a modern day classic, Far Cry 4. It was released in 2014, so it's 7 years old, and is on a 60% discount for the price of £4.99, which is dirt cheap for a game of this quality. This is an open world first person shooter, where you travel to Kirat, hidden deep within the towering Himalayas, to fulfil your mother's dying wish. But on arrival, you soon find yourself caught up in a civil war, to overthrow the oppressive regime of the evil dictator Pagan Min. This game is the pinnacle of the Far Cry series. So if you've played any of them before, but not this one, you should definitely pick this one up. And if you've never played a Far Cry game before, you should definitely start with this one because it's the best and you're not missing out on any story because they're not connected. So if you're looking for an awesome fun first person shooter, this is one of the best around. Definitely look at this. You won't regret it, I promise. You'll have a lot of fun. Fury Definitive Edition is our next game. It was released in 2017, so it's 4 years old, and is on a 75% discount for the price of £4.49, which is really awesome, as this edition includes the additional DLC fight and a dynamic theme as well, so you're getting a lot of extra for a low price. This is a bullet hell boss battle game, where you've been jailed and the jailer is the key, so killing him is your only way to escape. Now you must fight your way to freedom in back-to-back -back epic bullet hell boss fights that will test your skill and focus. This game was free on PS Plus ages ago, and I've played half of it, and I really love it. It really tests your skill, and it's really different and unique. But if you like skill-based games, and you like the idea of one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano, taking down a boss with skill only, you'll love this game, and it'll test your skill and patience to the max. But it's a lot of fun. If you think you can handle the challenge, why not take a look at it, and prove your worth to the gaming gods. Next up is Greedfall. It was released in 2019, so it was 2 years old, and is on a 75% discount for the price of £11.24, which is really good value. This is an RPG, where you get to explore an uncharted new land as you set foot on a remote island filled with magic, riches and lost secrets. You get complete character customization, gender, appearance, abilities, spells and skills, and along the way you meet and recruit many companions that react to your in-game decisions, making some happier or angrier as a result, which really helps you get invested in the gameplay and story. Plus it features a deep RPG system that can be changed at any point, with multiple ways to play and complete quests or story objectives, and two story endings to experience. There's a ton of replayability and a ton of variety in the way you can play and attack objectives. This looks like a really good quality RPG, and fans of the genre will probably love it and be in their element. And hey, if you've never played an RPG before, this is a really good one, so you might want to start in the deep end. You might just find your new favourite genre. So if you like any of what I've said, why not check it out? Journey to the Savage Planet is our next game. It was released in 2020, so it's only a year old, and it's on at least a 50% discount for the price of £12.49, or £9.99 with PS Plus, which is really good with PS Plus. This game is a first-person shooter, where you play as the member of the Kindred Aerospace, and it's your job to determine if planet ARY26 is fit for human habitation. You get to explore, catalogue flora and fauna, and fight the local wildlife on your way to complete your planetary survey. It also features online two-player co-op, which is great. I love it when they throw that in as well. This game got great reviews when it came out, and it looks like a really good action platformer adventure, which is unusual to have co-op gameplay, so that's a great bonus. So if you like the idea of a fun and quirky action platformer, You'll love this game. Think about it and have a look at it. You'll probably love it. Next up is Just Cause 4 Complete Edition. It was released in 2019, so it's two years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £10.99, which is crazy good, as this edition includes three expansions, the Sky Striker Wingsuit, the Black Hand Stealth Jet, and the Black Market Bundle, for an absolute huge amount of extra content included for this price. This is a third-person action-adventure game, where he plays Rico Rodriguez, returning to the land in Solace, hunting down the truth about his past at any cost. You get to utilise a bevy of weapons, vehicles, explosives and customisable gear such as your wingsuit, parachute and grappling hook. This game is the ultimate action fest. It's all about crazy fun and non-stop action. So if you're the guy that runs around in GTA just blowing stuff up and causing havoc, and you don't care about the story in it, this game is designed for you. I mean, just take a look at the pictures of the crazy vehicles and weapons. It's amazing. It's like a five-year-old was put in charge of the James Bond weapon division, and then this is the game that they based it on. It's crazy fun. It's action to the max. If you're excited by what I've said, just buy it now. You can't go wrong. 
And hey, if you've never played one of these before, seriously take a look at it. They're a lot of fun, and they're top-notch action games. You'll love them, you really will. Unless you don't have a soul, but I can't help you with that, you need to call a voodoo doctor or something. That's your problem, not mine. Up next is one of the games I've been looking forward to the most. Kingdom Come Deliverance Royal Edition. It was released in 2019, so it's two years old. And it's on a 70% discount for the price of £10.49. Which is a crazy good deal for this content. As it includes all five DLC expansions. The Treasures of the Past, From the Ashes, The Amorous Adventures of Bold Sir Capon, The Band of Bastards, and A Woman's Lot. So you get a huge amount of story DLC expansions here. For a huge amount of extra gameplay for this price. This is a first person RPG game where you play as the son of a blacksmith thrust into a civil war. And what's really cool about this game is that it was designed by people that based on historical accounts. So the locations are real, the way of life is real. If you love medieval stuff, you'll love this game, you really will. If you're one of those kids that grew up wanting to be a knight and go to Camelot, this game is your dream come true, it really is. You get to live it out. I picked this up recently and I can't wait to play it. I'm just finishing Horizon Zero Dawn and I'll be on it soon. Highly, highly recommended. Definitely take a look at it if you like anything to do with medieval stuff. I'd bet money on you having a good time. I'm that confident. Next we have one of my favourite VR games, Robinson The Journey. It was released in 2016 so it's 5 years old and it's on a 70% discount for the price of £7.49 which is really good for a VR game of this quality. There's no move controller support with this game, so all you need is the normal controller. This is a VR adventure game where you play as Robin, a child whose escape pod crash lands on an alien world. Alone and scared, you must explore the dinosaur infested jungles with your AI friend Higgs, searching for other survivors to help you survive and call for help. I got this on launch with the PSVR, and I have to say it's hands down one of my favourite VR adventures I've played on it. Being up close with dinosaurs is amazing. And equally horrifying because once you've been chased through the jungle by a pack of raptors, you get a bit of perspective on life. <laughs> Seriously though, this game is great. I really would like a sequel, but they canned the team after they finished this game, so it's never going to happen. And my soul dies a little bit every day because of it. Nah, I'm only joking. The voodoo doctor saved it. Anyway, take a look at this game if you like VR adventures. You can't go far wrong, it's awesome. Especially if you love dinosaurs, you'll really enjoy it. Oh look, it's my star buy, Sniper Elite 3 Ultimate Edition. It was released in 2015, so it's 6 years old, and it's on at least an 80% discount for the price of £5.99, or with PS Plus, £2.99, which is ridiculously awesome for this game, as it includes all 9 DLC, containing the Winston Churchill missions, amongst many other content. In this game, you get to play as a World War II sniper, sent on some cool missions in huge open world levels, where you get to take a look at the situation, plan your route, plan your targets, and then execute it like a proper sniper. If you've always wanted to be a sniper, this is one of the best games for you. It's really good, it's got a lot of extra content in it, and there's not many options around. There's not a lot of sniper games, and this is definitely the best series around for it right now. It's my style buy, because it's a top tier game, at a really good price. And if you like any of what I've said about it, you should definitely take a look at it. I mean, who wouldn't want to save Winston Churchill? Come on, the kudos alone is worth it, right? We have more VR next. Super Hot VR. It was released in 2017, so it's 4 years old, and it's on a 60% discount for the price of £7.99, which is awesome. This is probably the lowest I've ever seen it. This is a VR puzzle action game, where you take part in amazing fights where you are outnumbered, weapons must be improvised or taken from enemies, and the time only moves when you do, so you get to plan your moves, then execute them to kill everyone and come out on top. This is hands down one of the best VR games made. Everyone that plays it loves it. And if you've ever wanted to be John Wick or in the Matrix, this is the game for you. You get to dodge bullets, catch guns out of the air, all sorts of cool action fun. And VR just makes it the best thing ever. I mean, it makes everything better, but it's well suited to this game particularly. If you have a PSVR unit, check it out at least. You'll be doing yourself a favour. The Council Complete Season is our next game. It was released in 2018, so it's 3 years old, and it's on a 75% discount for the price of £4.99, which is great. This is a story-based adventure, and is set in 1973 where you are invited to a private island gathering, alongside high-profile guests such as Napoleon and George Washington. And amongst this story, your mother has vanished, and the other guests have their own hidden agendas. 
so it was up to you to investigate and find out what's going on. This game got great reviews when it came out, and it was well thought of. If you like story-driven games where you get to make decisions and see different outcomes with different endings, then you'll really enjoy this game. So if you're a fan of Telltale games and that sort of thing, you'll definitely want to check it out, as this might just be for you. And if you've never played one of these sorts of games before, then you might want to wait for the Telltale games to go on sale, because you can get crazy amounts of them at a dirt cheap price sometimes. Oh look, more VR. The Inpatient. It was released in 2018, so it's 3 years old, and it's on a 60% discount for the price of £6.39, which is dirt cheap. This game has no move controller support, but I don't think it would benefit much from it, so that's not a problem. This is a VR experience, where you are a patient with no memories in an abandoned Blackwood Pine sanatorium. You get to explore and take part in interviews with the medical staff while collecting memory flashbacks to discover your past. The game features multiple endings determined by your decisions in the story. So again, like the previous game, if you're a fan of stories that you get to make decisions and affect the outcome, you'll probably really enjoy this, and it is a bit creepy being in VR in a sanatorium, let's be honest. So you'll have to be okay with a light bit of horror as well. All in all, if you're looking for something a bit spooky with a bit of story, and you have a VR unit, then maybe you should look at this. It's not bad at this price. A first person shooter is next, Titanfall 2. It was released in 2017, so it's 4 years old, and it's on an 80% discount for the price of £3.59, which is dirt cheap for a game of this quality. This is a first person shooter where you play as a trainee Titan pilot who survives a failed invasion of an enemy planet, and in the aftermath you become linked to a Titan, and take on the mission objectives of its fallen pilot. So now it's up to you to survive and finish the mission for the dead pilot. This is a really good story driven game. So if you're a fan of games with story, and you like first person shooters, you should definitely pick this up. Especially at this price, it's dirt cheap and it's a lot of quality for the money. I played it recently, and I enjoyed it. It's got a really decent campaign, which is a lot of fun with decent story. Highly recommended for anyone looking for a nice little first person shooter right now. And the last game I have for you is Yoku's Island Express. It was released in 2018, so it's 3 years old, and it's on a 75% discount for the low price of £3.99, which is really great. This is a hybrid pinball adventure platformer, where you play Yoku, the pint-sized postman. And when the local deity is attacked, you set out to explore the open world Mukamana Island, with your trusty ball to roll around on and save the day. It features multiple quest lines, non-linear progression, new power-ups and abilities, and open world exploration. This game was exceedingly well reviewed at the time of release and since. It's very highly scored on everything. Seriously, if you like 2D platformers, this is a very unique one with a bit of pinball thrown in as well. I'd highly recommend it if you like that sort of thing. You should at least take a look at it because it's got such high reviews that you owe yourself a favour to do it. You really do, just check it out. You never know, you might just find your new favourite game. And that's all the games I have for you for the Days of Play PSN sale. What did you think of the games I picked? Did I pick good ones? Did I pick bad ones? And what about the star buy? Was it good? Was it bad? Should I pick some gas instead? Throw all of your complaints down in the comments and we'll argue about it later. I hope you guys found some games you're interested in. But more importantly, I hope you guys saved a lot of money. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button if you don't want to miss the next sale and save even more money. I'll see you guys in the next sale. Hoyle Vower.